Julie, you help Raj with those two. They still had the better chance. I'll do the best that I can here. OK, I'll just get it connected up. I'm in hydrocortisone. Julie, this one needs bagging. I'm with you. Hey, Sister Lee. Stop bagging and convert to mask. Right, I need you over here now. I'm on it. We've lost output here. I'll manage. Go. We can read the rhythm off the Yeah. Okay. VF. Uh, shock. 50 jewels on a kid that size. 50. Clear. Carry on. How's yours? I can hear his chest rattling from here. Try cruzimide. 20 milligrams. Clear. I'm sorry, students aren't allowed to give my bees. Give it! Everything that happens in this room is my responsibility. Is your Clear. This one's back. Now giving out the <laughs> Try setting that kid up a bit more. Spontaneous rest is now. Five to one. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm happy to let you get rid of this rotten apple on the quiet. Stop him getting his filthy hands on anyone else's child. That's the important thing, right? We sack him, and you don't involve the police. Look, I know what it's like. So many politically correct rules and regulations protecting these people. Now he's been caught red-handed, here's your chance to have shot of him. Three, four, five, two, okay. Christy, you sort out these two. I'll help with the little one. Those two out of here, Raj. Into a cubicle. Move! I can't believe Jane Langridge hasn't stood up for me. Maybe if I spoke to her, she... I'm afraid that won't be possible. Staff Nurse Langridge has accepted a transfer to another unit. I think maybe the time has come for you to part company with us. No. In order to save his son the trauma of testifying against you, Mr Nixon has accepted to withdraw his complaint if you resign. You will be spared disciplinary action. No. Strictly between us, this administration would be willing to make a very generous settlement to release you from your contract. My baby, why? Our oh, baby, our own child, why? <laughs> The other two were adopted. They've been trying for one of them for years. The father said you touched up his son. What do you have to say? Well, what did you do? Oh, Is it true that you fondled the boy while he was under the anaesthetic? I am satisfied that James conducted a proper examination. The father is coaching that boy to bear false witness. And the nurse didn't witness the examination either. No, uh, regrettably not. She's very distressed by the whole business. I see. I'm very sorry. Switchboard. Personnel department, please. Hold on. He's lying. I agree. Christopher, I never meant to frighten you or upset you. I was helping to make you better. My dad said never to speak to you. Your father hates me, and he wants you to hate me too. I think that's wrong. I think you know it is too. You know it's wrong to lie to get someone else into trouble. Hey! Get away from him! I'll have the police up here! Dr Mortimer, you know that you're barred from hospital wards. You're the one who's sick. Actually teaching someone to hate. Dr Mortimer, leave at once. Go on.
I'm glad I could help, James. But I'm sorry, Mr. Doherty. I'm not prepared to bring a case against the management. I'll give you my full support as chairman of the consultants committee. And I'm suspended for years while you argue in boardrooms. I know you mean well, but I'm sorry, Mr. Doherty. Ah, James. Important business. And want... Uh, yes, uh, you leave, Mr. D. That's it. Up. OK. Take charge. That's it. No one blames you. How could anyone have asked a mother to choose between her children? You did the best you could. The only thing people are going to think of you is, thank God it wasn't me you had to decide. Come on. I expect this is the first for you coming down here. Well, don't be nervous, Kirsty. I can call you Kirsty. There are a few things I need to know about a case from yesterday. That's purely routine. I just want to fill in some gaps, that's all. Kirsty, did you give an intravenous injection? I'm not accusing you of anything. In fact, I understand a doctor made you do it. Is that right? Look, <clears throat> maybe it'd be better if Sister Novak was here. You do like working here, don't you, Kirsty? A doctor gave an order that he shouldn't have. The very same doctor's misjudgment led to an infant's death. Now, what do you think the nursing tutor will do when I tell her that not only did you perform an unauthorized procedure, but that you refused to help with the inquiry? Now, I can't help you unless you tell me what I want to know. <laughs> 